Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber. In this video, I'm doing a Q&A with all of my friends here at Nationals. So everybody, why don't you introduce yourself, starting with over here. Hi, I'm Adam. I'm from the channel The Rubik's Cubed. I'm Natalie, and I'm from the channel Sassy Ginger 77. I'm Jonah, I'm from the channel Sassy Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> No I'm heard Daniel Carnock or Derpy Cuber. I'm Patrick Ponce and I come from the channel Patrick Ponce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Allison Lee or the programming Cuber. I'm Avocado coming from the channel Hashtag Cuber. That was so many words. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I cannot handle it. <laughs> I'm Dan Pasichko from Daz Cubing, I think. Okay, so I asked all of you guys on Instagram for some questions, so we're just gonna go through and like answer them. That's how a Q&A works. Okay, okay, so this is the talking pillow. So if you're holding the pillow, only you can talk. Also, DG isn't joining us today because we're recording this at like um, 11 o'clock. Yeah, 1050 <laughs> and like he goes to bed really early. So you know, look at the so this one's not really relevant until like for like after tomorrow, but let's just like who do you guys think will win nationals? Ooh, I may so, guess it. Um, Max or Daniel? So no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna say Max. Alright, go ahead. Drew? Max. Yeah. Uh, Honestly, I'm feeling an upset from Lucas. Really? Yeah, I feel, I feel like he's gonna do it okay. two times again. Or just two times. I'm gonna say Max Park. Alright, okay, obviously, Daniel Carla, because he won the sale challenge. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be mainstream. I'm gonna say Max, too. I say Max. Uh, I took time predicting the podium. I said, uh, Max, Lucas, and then Bill Wang. But for national podium, it's gonna be Drew. Okay. <laughs> um, Alright, here we go. Pineapple pizza or no? Yes. Yes. No! No! no. 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 Shut up! It's hard pass. So, I, we ju I'm choosing this because we literally just the, had pineapple pizza yeah. like 30 minutes ago. Like, yes. 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 Oh. Would you rather stay for 24 hours in a house full of corgis or get instant shipping on your next order? Corgis. Corgis! Corgis! corgis. 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 So, so much shipping. corgis, instant. they're all good boys! I have it. Instant shipping on corgis. <laughs> yes. Okay, so... Jesse has a corgi and it literally looks like a loaf of bread and it's the yeah. cutest thing ever. Oh, yeah. I love Sam. Sam is a cute boy. Oh, it's a dog. I didn't know what it was. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good boy. Oh, it's a dog. Oh. <laughs> um, what is the best and worst thing about cubing for everybody? Oh. Best thing is like, the people, obviously, is so generic. The people the are amazing. Part. It's also the worst part. Yeah, that's yeah. the worst part is people part. can be mean sometimes. The best uh, guys, of the talking guys, pillow. I have the talking pillow. Respect the talking pillow. <laughs> the best and the worst thing is definitely the people because you have some of the nicest people you'll ever meet who are super accepting, and then you have people who will hate you no matter what you do. Yeah. It's just they they're looking for a reason no to be subs, mad. subs though. Really, Adam. There are more views in some <laughs> I'm hungry, man. <laughs> yeah. um, the worst part is not knowing how to speed solve. <laughs> there's like a, a hierarchy for like people, like you know the fast people, they're on top, everybody idolizes them. Sometimes that can get a, a little bit annoying and frustrating if you're somebody who's not as slow, but maybe you know just as good not as a person. Slow. Not as fast, but just as good it's of a person as somebody else. And the best part is this right here. Awesome. Tell yeah, Allison to start uploading again. You should do <laughs> that. I have been told by too many people. <laughs> hey, I I'm about to say okay. two people. Welcome to the club. <laughs> this is from TC Cubes. Who can hold their breath the longest? Let's I'm a out. lifeguard, so I feel like that would be Three, me. I play a wind instrument. Two, right? one, go! Did anyone start a timer? <laughs> 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 oh, I got one. I got one. Well, you can edit it in. I right? started okay. laughing. That's true. Three. Oh, I have, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, here's an interesting one. I feel like this might have already happened by now, but do you think that cubes will get so good that the effectiveness of getting a new one against your times will flat? Chris Trent. <clears throat> so like it's impossible to improve by getting a new cube, which is kind of like the way it is now. Oh, like most new speed cubes like Chris don't like make about. you faster. I, I stole the wait, wait. I, <laughs> <laughs> Are you still holding it? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Go ahead. Talk, talking pillow, please. Talking pillow. Okay, um, I think that the perfect cube is unachievable because everyone has their own different turning styles. Like a Gans is more suited for someone with a loose turning style who may catch a little more on something like a z the like it's a way show. Zanji is kind of outdated, but like a way show, for example. What if the cube was boneless? Yes. See, this man's asking the real question. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Would a boneless cube okay. just be coreless? <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking like there are different points of innovations for cubes. There's always somewhere you can go with it. Like, who would predict magnets? Who would predict boron treatment? Who would predict like wider screw bases? <laughs> 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 
I think that a very big step, because obviously it's not in within reach uh, yet, but Chris Tran announced his uh, linear project or whatever it's called. But it's basically this amazing new three x three that like um, has all these uh, cool like like. It's basically like his version of the perfect three x three. Nice rubric. Nice <laughs> rubric. Very nice. How tall are you, JR Cuber? Because you look taller than everyone there. Okay, I'm six three, and all of these guys are shorter. Oh, six feet. Uh, five six. Five eight. No, uh, 5'11". Just 5'4". 5'3". No, I'm, I'm getting you guys... Oh, Patrick! Patrick! 5'6". <laughs> Would you go. not do your main WCA event and everything else, or just your main event? So, like, I basically only do my main event. I only really practice 3x3 three three and Mega Minx, so, like, those are... That, that's main event. Smart. Right, so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna practice what you want to do and not every event unless you're a chick. Yeah. I would much rather do everything else just because like there's so much to learn and I feel like I'm limited just because I, I practice through by this so much I'm not learning other stuff. Yeah, but like imagine if this was like a genie or like a, a like a wizard or something It's like I curse you and they're like what is your main event? And you're just like multi-blind or something. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever exploited your cubing abilities for your own benefit, Ooh. like money oh, or something? Oh, wait, more? I have a story, I have a story. Okay. The other day, I was on my way home from work, and I got pulled over, and I solved a cube for the cop, and he didn't give me a ticket. I actually don't know if it was to my advantage. I, I hope it was. Okay, so I went into an interview for, like, this, like, counselor and training type thing for a summer camp, and I brought a cube with me, and I said, like, I want to do, Magic like, a cubing thing, like, in the before or after school for the summer camp. So they were, they seemed really interested in it. So I think that's what got me it, probably. Nice rubric. So who has been cubing the longest to shortest time? I think I've been cubing the longest. I'm yeah. almost at, I'm almost <laughs> at seven the line, years. go. Okay. Four. Four. Four and a half. Five. Three and a half. Five and a half. Four. Four and a half. Like three. Really? A, a little, like, like a tiny Bro, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be seven years for me in August. Whoa! Go. If the WCA added one new official event, what oh, puzzle would it be? Can I have the huh? Can I have the go of what, would, what did you do? Oh, this, oh, question. this question. Yeah, because yeah, everyone asked. Okay, so uh, since KB Minx is a very good contender, because uh, it's been getting a lot of unofficial recognition at official competitions, um, I think that that'd be the absolute first event to be uh, considered and yeah. picked. Um, but if that was not picked, I would definitely think, even though it's a, a lot of uh, criticism is given to me <laughs> because of it, I think mirror blocks would be a good choice because even though it's I, I agree with that because yeah. it's okay. such a it's such a famous puzzle like it's like yeah. the, it's like plus the you have people like the Sepamania who average oh, like fifteen on yeah blocks. like you yeah. like every single cuber nice. has solved a mirror block. All right, so I'm gonna right channel my Mr. my DG right here. DG would say ready cube. Oh yeah, I know this a lot. Oh, I like right that one too. I think that one would be a cool event because okay. that one's almost like pyramid kind of. I, I, slower, no. I, I don't know how practical this would be, but like a cuboid, like 3 by 3 ref, I would be a perfect be Yeah, a cuboid, I, I've also because kind of thought the, about the, it. So the thing is, like, with the WCA, it's why they stop at 7x7, seven seven, because each different cube adds something else, right? Yeah, yeah. So no two puzzles are like, which is why I'm, I'm not against, but kind of like, not for uh, mirror blocks, because it's basically yeah. just like a 3 by 3 This is hard to organize, but team blind is fun. Team oh is yeah. Yeah. What is the saddest moment in your cubing career? Oh, me first. Nats 2014. I I was like a Felix fanboy, but I didn't know he lost. Or uh, not lost, but he didn't win. And he had a counting 10 in his average for finals. So I walked up to him with like a QJ timer as a microphone, and someone was filming this. I can't find the footage, but I, I'm still looking. But I walked up and I'm like, what's it like to win 3x3 three three with a counting 10? And then he's like, I didn't win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I just no. walked away. Uh, the saddest, probably, cubing memory was at. A couple of people probably already have heard this story, but at uh, Slow and Steady. <gasps> no, at Slow and Steady Spring 2016, <laughs> um, no. we almost got kicked out of yeah. the venue. Yeah. Oh my no, God. Oh, no wait. Oh. And so we almost got kicked out of the venue, and so. I was like, and my mom had like gone like shopping somewhere, and so my mom was at the venue, and so I was having a panic attack like in the bathroom because I couldn't find my mom. I was like, crap, I'm gonna get stuck in the middle of Maryland, and I was like, and I don't know where my mom is, and I walked out of the bathroom, and I, I'm, I'm crying, and then all of a sudden Damien's just there with a camera and is filming me crying. Whoa. Like, Natalie. no hate on Damien because. Like, I laugh about it now, but at the oh time, I'm God. literally having a panic attack crying, and Damien's filming me. First competition ever. I was, like, so pumped, but, like, I went in having no expectations. And I, someone was like, oh, uh, the cutoff for second round was, like, 20 seconds. And I was like, wait, I got a low 20 average? I got, I don't remember what my exact time is, but all I remember is they were taking top 20, 
I was the 21st player. Oh. No. Oh. Your first comp? Uh, my first comp oh. ever. 2015 Nats, I played in 2x2. 2016 Nats, I thought I could do the same. Uh, and didn't. the scrambles were not in my favor, and I was really, really sad, and I almost cried. Okay. No. Is that sadder than that one time? <laughs> my mom said she would never take me to a comp kit, and then Colin got the one I could, and I started crying. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's cute. And Poor it was badger. like two years ago, so that's kind of embarrassing. Okay. okay. Well, it, speed cubing wise, it's hard to choose a single failure in such a sea of failures. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna leave it at that. Oh, sure. Okay, go. Answer. No. All of my three by th official three by three averages. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's let's end with this. All right. Okay. Who's the biggest nub of all of you? Ava. Why? Ava. <laughs> Why? Because I she said, I said two so, words. Gosh. I'm the slowest yeah, one in the room. So oh wait, no, I'm not. Hey. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait! But we have to, we have to, we have to define Natalie. nub first. All right, nub isn't someone that's just slow. It's someone that we don't like. So it's clearly <laughs> Natalie. Yes, indeed. <laughs> anyways, that's about it for the Q and A, guys. That's those are all the yeah. questions we could answer. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> and subscribe to all of their channels. Everything will be linked down in the description. Okay, anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. Links to all of my social media and my Patreon pages are- Oh, and my merch store, that's right, buy Wait, the you merch. you have multiple Patreon pages. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Sell that's out. Right. Sell out! Sell out. <laughs> no, we all have to be- We all- We all- We all- We all- We all- Ready, ready? Three, two, one. Skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr